Hello everyone, how you doing? Stephen Clark and friends here, back with another news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Well, all over Asia, really. Hope you're all safe from that nasty Chinese coronavirus. Latest reports from Thailand on the Chinese coronavirus outbreak from the 3rd of May. The latest reports from our dear leader in North Korea. He's come back to life in a fertilizer factory. Seriously. A Philippines brewery giving back to its native people. A Cambodia woman jailed for six months for selling skimpy clothes on Facebook. People in lockdown in Thailand have found a new thing to do, cruise around the dating sites. Craft beer manufacturers in Thailand want the beer turned back on. They're losing money. Thailand, 15,000 Thai baht for struggling farmers and workers. Fantastic news. Over to Bali, Indonesia, and an Indonesian policeman found a new way to use the wine to clean your hands with sanitizer. And Laos having a bad flooding problem. Okay, let's have a look what's happening. Paul reports six new Chinese coronavirus cases for the second successive day, the lowest in over a month, over a 24-hour period, and there were no deaths. A doctor is spokesman of the government's Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration said on Saturday, May the 2nd. It was the sixth consecutive day of single-digit new cases. The total number of the Chinese coronavirus patients increased to 2,966, of whom 2,732 have recovered and been discharged, and there have been 54 deaths. On May the 1st, Thailand had reported its lowest number of Chinese coronavirus cases in over a month, with six new cases confirmed over a 24-hour period and no deaths. Great news for Thailand. Thai government is doing a great job. Well, fantastic news. The North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, is not sick he was just on holidays having a bit of a relax and has reappeared according to the North Korean media an opening ceremony for a fertilizer farm looks like he's found some new toys to play with continuing on the legacy of his father and grandfather and what better way to return to the public eye than opening up a shit farm Philippines, San Miguel Breweries, Manila, San Miguel employees to receive full payment during the local lockdowns. The corporation has 66,557 employees, being management consultants and contract workers. This is expected to be around 3 billion Philippine pesos. The President and Chief Operations Officer for the San Miguel Corporation. Mr. Raymond Ang said, these are trying times. So good on him, what another wonderful human being. Cambodia. A Cambodian woman has been jailed for wearing skimpy outfits. The 39 year old woman was jailed for six months the woman was selling clothing and beauty products via Facebook. In a speech, the Prime Minister said, online vendors were encouraging sexual assault and disgracing Cambodia culture, wearing skimpy outfits and also saying that this is what we classify as pornography. I think they need to get up to the 20th century. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. Apparently, uh, she got a little bit of a beating while they were at it. With no movies, no malls, no visitors, the ties on social media have taken to dating sites to keep in contact with loved ones or maybe even find a new love, but somebody to share. A very unique situation where being locked up at home, people can even, you know, social media, the heart grows fonder. So maybe a whole new generation of relationships will flower. The 
Earlier this week, a petition was submitted to the government led by Craft Beer Import and Brewers Association. The submission said, different types of establishment that sell alcohol defined by law and it is not fair to put a blanket ban over them. Also in the submission, a draft idea of colour coding businesses due to risk and the ability to open with restrictions to allow businesses to be able to sell takeaway only and continue to make a living. As for other taxes and revenues that have been paid on these beverages to be refunded or a situation created where the businesses are not losing out by just paying tax after tax and not having any sales. Johnny here. Thailand, the number of self-employed eligible for aid has risen to 16 million. A great humanitarian effort, an age packet for the self-employed and farming families. A payment of 5,000 baht a month for three months has been taken forward by Congress. So the government has really stepped up to the task. These payments, or this payment, has been taken into account workers who are not members of the social security uh, and it, it is, it's, it's really good because the struggling farmers are the ones that need it because the farmers are really the backbone of the country. Indonesia, Bali. In the good book, water was turned into wine, but on the island of Bali, hand sanitizer has become alarmingly scarce and the prices have soared. The Bali police chief had an idea of not turning water into wine, but turning wine into sanitizer. He urged the local manufacturers of a local palm wine to denote 4,000 litres of this very potent beverage. With the help of a local university that was tasked of manufacturing an alcohol-based sanitizer within a week. This has been achieved and the sanitizer that is up to the World Health Organization standard is being distributed free of charge to those in need. A great thing by the police chief who also put his hand in his own pocket to make this happen. Much praise to him. Lao, Lang Prabang. Not a wonderful story. In fact, quite sad. With the much needed rain, a tropical storm, there became a flood. Three people lost their lives and four others are missing. With heavy rain for two hours washing away temporary houses of the two families working along the riverbank, local authorities and local military are searching for the missing people. Let's hope there is some good outcome from this. Thank you.